Hello team and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of ISTQB Foundation and this is one among those tutorial uh, which I should have done as a part of the playlist but probably I just forgot it to do and got a lot of responses on making it happen but yes I was able to assist you all through chats and uh, give you the explanation for that and probably you were trying to make use of some different sources in order to understand more about this and this is about the chapter 4 and the topic was 4.2 black box test techniques but yes this was all about the boundary value analysis and the one topic which we missed in our playlist is three point analysis of boundary values and that is what we are going to understand and uh, you must be able to understand that in more detail here so first of all let's quickly talk about what exactly the black box techniques are so uh, yeah that you can refer from the uh, previous tutorials when it comes to boundary value analysis now in 2018 they have brought certain aspects from the advanced level that means this was there earlier in the test analyst and now in 2018 you do find there's something called as two point boundary value analysis and three point boundary value analysis the two point boundary value analysis is already there in the tutorial series if you are here then must make sure that you have been to the previous tutorial of the boundary value analysis if not you may find a click uh, card on the top which you can use to go back to the previous tutorial in order to understand the two point as in this tutorial we are exclusively talking about three point analysis so when it comes to the boundary values, the three-point analysis is just slightly different compared to two-point analysis. On the left side, the table which you see is called as two-point analysis, where we take a uh, value inside and outside on each boundary. So if you see there is a vertical line, it basically shows that the that's a boundary of a particular range and one inside, one outside. And again, on the right side, there is another boundary. So we have right boundary inside and outside. So that's two point analysis. But when it comes to three point analysis, we take three boundary values at each one. So if you see on the table on your right, that shows three values where the only difference is inside we take two more values. Okay, so compared to two point analysis, on the three point analysis, we will have uh, one outside, two inside. Why? Because when you go for deeper analysis on certain safety critical system or some complex scenarios or critical scenarios or probably where the risk is more involved, you prefer to take more than two values. Why? Because 17 is a, a value which is outside is outside, but the boundary which is provided to you is on the boundary. So you must test one inside is what they recommend. So three point analysis allows you to take three values on each boundary where one will be outside the boundary and two will be inside the boundary. To understand it better, let's take a quick look on a particular example. But before that, we do have a quick formulas to evaluate the uh, values for the three point analysis as well. That is LB, LB plus one, LB minus one and RB, RB minus one, RB plus one. So let's look at a quick example to understand better on this. When it comes to the black box testing techniques, that is uh, boundary value analysis, and this time it is three point analysis. Let's take this example here. Uh, text field in an application accepts input as the age of the user. Here, the values allowed to be accepted by the field is between 18 to 30 years, inclusive of both the values. By applying three point boundary value analysis, what is the minimum number of test cases required for maximum coverage? So all you would do is create this simple table here and then start pointing the boundary values. Now here the boundary values will be 17, 18, 19. Why? Because 18 is considered as on the boundary, 17 is considered as outside the boundary and 19 is considered as inside the boundary. So for each boundary you will have three values, one outside and two outside just next to each other. Similarly on the right side you will have three values 29, 30, 31 where 29 is inside, 30 is on the boundary and 31 is outside the boundary. So right answer here will be 6. So sometimes they can ask you a straightforward question that what is the minimum number of test cases required and you can pick up the right answer like this. 
Let's take a quick another example. What if they ask you to for the boundary values? Now you must have already understood from the basic tutorial that what type of typical examples are there with boundary value analysis. But the same example which we used just earlier in the previous one. But here this time we are asking which one of the options consists of the boundary values itself. Then again you take one outside, one in two inside and that's where you get 17, 18, 19. 29, 30, 31. So team, just remember that the difference between two point and three point analysis is that two point takes two values on each boundary and three point analysis takes three boundary values on each boundary. Where in two point, one will be outside, one will be inside. And uh, on in three point analysis, one will be outside and two will be inside considering that the center value is on the boundary and the other one is outside and the remaining one is inside on each boundary which you test. So just be careful with that and you are good to go. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else feel free to let me know and I'll be always here to address your queries and look at your comments to respond to them. Beyond that of course keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. This is just a bonus video added for your knowledge and understanding from the playlist. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.